Hi guys, it's Denise. I have another Dollar Tree haul for you. I went to the Dollar Tree in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania this morning. My little eight-year-old, uh, soon to be nine-year-old, turns nine on Friday, um, decided he wanted to, we hadn't really, we were just gonna have like a family party for him this year. And we still are, but he asked if he could um, have some of his little buddies over this weekend for a little birthday party. So of course I said yes, you know, on, on Sunday. And um, so I went to, I had to go to the Dollar Tree to get stuff for goodie bags. I was, I was still going out there to look for, I needed more like thank you cards. I needed um, all kinds of stuff. I was looking for the pan, those little pan liners. It comes in a set of three. I don't know if it was just, but I keep messing with this. Hopefully I don't, but it's irritating me. Um, I know I got them at, I got some in Westminster a while ago and I was hoping that Gettysburg would have some. And you know, this time, it went, it went great. I mean, it had things, really cool things, but like that whole freezer section, I don't know if something happened to their freezer. Freezer's empty. Totally empty. So, I mean, it's cool. Everybody's allowed to have uh, things happen sometimes, right? I know I know it happens to me. So, I don't know. I think some of them, I didn't ask. I was just kind of in there looking for specifics. I needed balloons. I needed uh, a, bunch of, a bunch of stuff. Um, so I guess maybe three weeks ago when I was in there, I was looking for the conversation cards and they didn't have them. They had them all. They had them all this time and I was so excited. Um, they are super, super cool. This one is called um, Family Talk and it's 108 prompts and they're conversation cards. So it says it's a great tool for strengthening relationships within your family. So I thought that was kind of be like a fun evening, you know, a fun evening for us. I grabbed up, I grabbed up all three. So that one, I, I, I feel like this is something I should go back and get more and put them in as Christmas presents because I just think this is kind of a cool, kind of a cool thing. And to get it for a dollar 25, because I know things like this are a lot more expensive and this packaging alone, like this is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. So, okay. This one is relationship talks. So uh, conversation cards, it says a great tool for building meaningful relationships. And this is also 108. I should pull one of these out. Okay, I'm gonna pull out one of the icebreaker cards. It also, again, it says a great tool to connect and explore different perspectives. Uh, 108 thought provoking conversation starters, silence the phones and have some fun. So that, that sounds really cool. I feel like uh, I go to my doc. I go back to my doctor tomorrow for like a recheck. It's just really, it's really getting on my nerves. This is really getting on my nerves. Um, I had um, skin cancer. Ba it was basal cell, squamous cell. Um, I think call them tumors. It just sounds so like a tumor uh, removed from my from my nose. And um, tomorrow I had it done a week ago today. So I go tomorrow for my my recheck. Oh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't go that way. Um, and I'm anxious to hear what they have to say. Hopefully they tell me I'm doing a good, hopefully they tell me I'm doing a good job because I'm cleaning it. I feel like I'm cleaning it constantly. Okay. All right. So it's just in this little, this little box Look like this. And um, hopefully I can get through this. I cannot. Oh, well, I'll just read this one. This um, this one question, this is a conversation starter. I mean, would it be dorky to bring to a party, people you don't know? I don't know, I think it'd be kind of fun. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? And it's also getting to know, you know, getting to know people. So I think that's really, really, really awesome. So, I mean, again, if I see them in other stores, I'm gonna pick them up because I think they're really, I think they're really cool. I also found this, I, I haven't seen if anyone has uh, hauled this. And to me, who makes this? I can't even see. Play Monster, okay. This is called Things. Things you won't believe, the things you'll hear. It says for four or more players, ages 14 to adult. Let me try and open this too. How is everyone's evening? It's been a rainy, rainy evening here. I mean, not just rain, like downpour. 
downpour started around, of course, it always starts around like dismissal time, you know, school dismissal time or when the bus is getting ready to pull up. And I don't, I don't mind rain, but this is like drenching. It was a drenching rain and there was some, uh, some thunder. So I dr I did drive down to the bus stop to get, uh, to get my son and, um, also had my grandson during that time, but, but his dad, my son picked him up. So I didn't have to put him back in the car seat. Okay, all right, I'm always done pulling that off. So, okay, so that's like the case. Okay, it's got two packages. This one, this set, this said things, things that you want. Okay, humor in a box, expansion deck. Oh, it's an expansion deck. So is this a full game? 107 topic cards and a response pad another thing things right here I picked these up yeah this is this is the response pad oh <gasps> this is a great it's a great little gift this is a great little gift it's a great stocking stuffer they had five in there and you know what I grabbed up them all because I have a lot of people in my my family my kids have uh, friends and parties and things like that to go to. So I um, I have inherited this from my mother, buying things to, uh, so I have like gifts for other people. So things, um, this is pretty cool. I mean, uh, it says it's an expansion pack. Uh, I, I'm sure I have seen this in Walmart hanging um, like where the, where the playing cards are and just things like that. They had a ton of the little um, Uno, little teeny tiny Uno ones. So be on the lookout for that. That looks pretty cool. All these games that I have, that I found are really, really cool. So I went, like I said, I went to get things for his little birthday party. He wrote on tiny pieces of paper and brought those into school today and hand delivered those to friends and wrote phone numbers down. So tomorrow I have to set, resend some things in with him to make sure the parents know that it's legit and it's not just a note that somebody you know one of their one of their kids friends sent because they do that kind of stuff sometimes so I need to make sure it's they know that it's an actual thing so I was trying to think what to put in these little goodie bags because we're just doing something at home they're gonna play Legos as we said he wanted to do Legos draw and maybe do they we have like a little virtual reality thing and maybe do some of that and have cake ice cream pizza presents blah 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 so, and you know, a lot of, some kids have um, allergies and things like that, and parents, you know, don't want them to have certain things. So I was trying to be very, I don't know, careful about what I got. So here's just my little bags. I, there's gonna be seven kids, so I bought three packs of these. These are just the uh, Viola gift bags, and it's a three pack, and I just love that plain brown. Um, so my, my goodie bags are more of a, I guess a game theme. You know, summer's coming and you don't always want your kids just to to play video games and things like that. You kind of want them to do other things. So I got them all. I got them each their own. It's called Tumbling Towers, but Jenga set. They can do whatever they want with them. They can, you know, you can even take this so could you take it on the road? You actually could. You could take it on vacation with you, what, whatever you want. So I got them this Jenga set. It's 72 blocks and it's for two to four players. And it's by Classic Games. And I don't know, it's just, and this actually looks nice. Like if you're even having a party on, on the deck or something, people set these things up. They set the huge ones up, which I, I feel I'm a little irritated with myself. I pass up the uh, large Jenga set at Aldi. So I'm kind of on the hunt for that because I know my kids would love and my big kids would really enjoy playing that this summer. So I grabbed up this. I grabbed, let's see, these, and I thought these were pretty cool too. The uh, Infinity Cubes, I'm just gonna take them out of these boxes and uh, put them in their bag. So let me take this one out. And these, I feel like they're part of, I guess, they're in the fidget family. And, um, hmm. What does it do? This, this, this. So, yeah. How, how far does it go? So, yeah. I like, I love this. I love it. So, I think they will like that. And to me, I feel like that looks pretty sturdy. And I feel like that looks like it's worth a little bit more than $1.25, even though we all know it's not. 
even though we all know it's not. I don't know what I did with that box. So I put that back in there. I also picked up a deck of cards, two pack of the uh, playing cards and poker, ch poker chips because we do play poker. Like my eight year old knows how to play poker. I, I pretty much, I mean, for the most part, I have to be reminded each time how to play poker. We all do it. So um, I thought that would be kind of fun. Put a little poker set in there. I stopped by the um, the outlets. I went into the outlets to get Jesse a new pair of Under Armour shoes. Then I went into the Pepperidge Farm outlet and I went into Bath and Body Works and I'll show you what I got from Bath and Body Works. But the Pepperidge Farm outlet, they had a big bag of goldfish and, and it was for like a dollar. So they were the individual bags of goldfish. So I'm gonna put some of that in their bags and maybe a little juice box or something just so they have, you know, not everybody wants candy. I would appreciate this because it is things to do and it's not all junk. Um, and then I picked up dice, you know, what do they, what do you play? It's not why I know Yahtzee, but what is that? I hate saying, is it craps? Is that what it is? I don't know. So I was going to split these up, uh, with them. I bought two packs of those and that is also from the classic games. They were pretty stocked at that store with the uh, classic games things. Like I, I just feel like, um, again, you know, I was disappointed with the frozen food, but whatever, whatever, right? So I grabbed those. Uh, I don't know, is that it? Nope. I picked up these journals and they, it says that they're just notebooks, but I love these. I love that they were, um, I almost feel like this is kind of like a man bag, but it, it's, it is, but it's not. It doesn't have little pieces of junk in it. You know, these are actual things that they can they can use. Uh, this one just says stuff. This one says good. So I only had one of the good and um, six of the stuff. So I got seven of these. And it does say it's just a notebook and it's just got plain paper. They can draw. Again, Wyatt is my artsy guy and he loves to draw and he loves to create. And then I bought a package of big pens and everyone will get a big pen in there. Is that it? I think that's it for my, for my goodie bag stuff. Um, I was able to find this, the 1919. They did have the beard balm, but I didn't get it. So I, I did look, I looked and they did have the aftershave uh, moisturizer and the beard balm and I picked up two of the aftershave moisturizers and this is a wall product this is awesome this is name brand I haven't even opened it up yet I probably should to see what it looks like I wonder if it has that little thing on it it does I'm not gonna pull that off that is really nice really really nice I haven't priced it to see how much it would be like you know in the in the store so I grabbed up two of those. Um, I picked these up for my daughter because she loves The Office. I just thought they were cute. The Office, World's Best Boss. Um, they had a bunch of different socks, but um, I have found so many socks at Walmart and a whole bunch of other places for cheaper than this. So I, I just like that pair. I picked up this little nine balloon for him. I'm going to go to school and have lunch with him on Friday. I know he's going to be excited. I asked him what he would like me to bring and um, he hasn't, he hasn't said it yet. So hopefully he does soon. And we are going on um, a few trips this year. I'm so excited. And I bought myself, I know I've, I know I have purchased these before, but I thought this was just as cute as can be. Because you know, you, you could go to a boutique, okay? And they'll be selling these things. People will buy these from the Dollar Tree, take them out of this package and put them around cute luggage and bags and stuff and sell them uh, for a lot cheaper. So when you see these cute uh, tags for your luggage, for your kids' luggage, buy them, buy them up. And it is just, ma it, you know, just makes your luggage so, so cute. So this is luggage tag. And here on the back, you just put your, your name and address and stuff like that. It's just a cute little add. You can hear my dog walking around. Add to your luggage. I know nowadays they have, you know, all the stuff you tie on it, but you have to have something on your luggage to let you know, you know, this is, this is mine. So I grabbed that. I picked up, I'm going to a bridal shower this weekend. So I picked up a card 
for the bride to be. And I picked up these thank you cards. So this is Wyatt's thank you cards for his gift bags. And these are little thank you cards for, I'm gonna, gonna deliver the teacher's gifts on Friday when I go up and have lunch with him for his birthday. So this, this is the thank you cards. I'm gonna have him write it. I'm gonna tie it on to, I got a whole bunch of cute stuff. Hopefully they're not overwhelmed by the amount of items that are in, in these bags. Um, anyone else noticing, and I probably should have bought, um, I don't know, a different pack, but I just thought this was kind of, just thought it was cute. There's only four in this one, and then there's six in this one. So be careful when you're buying them. I don't know why. I don't know why. I knew this only had four, and it was just silly of me to do that. I must have really loved, I must have really loved that. So that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. I'm gonna show you what I got at Bath and Body Works. I know there's lots and lots of ladies that do um, the Bath and Body Works uh, YouTube. Um, my my One of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Sarah Starr, her channel is Me Sarah Starr, she does Bath and Body Works all the time. She is your Bath and Body Works go-to, okay? And right now is SAS, it's the semi-annual sale. So I stopped in there because I just love the, the scents and things like that. And I, I am sensitive to things. And I just recently used up my coupons for all my free my free items. Um, and this time when I went in there, I was looking, of course, for myself. And I was looking for um, the girls, meaning my daughter and my daughter-in-law. And then I was picking some things up for the bridal shower that I'm going to this weekend. So I picked up... Um, the Pure Wonder Bath and Body Works spray, okay? And they give out these bags too, and this ribbon. So if you're trying to like get your Christmas early, you need to go because it is a super deal. So this perfume, this body spray was $3 and it retails for 16, where's the price on this? Where is it? $16.95. It retails for $16.95. And they're, the SAS sale, they are $3. They have other things that are like 50% off and 75% off. So it's all a super steal, super steal. So I got about, I think four of those bottles. And then I got, I got this one, the Mad About You. It smells like pure rose. I I love it. I know a lot of people won't, won't like that, but I love it. $3 for this. And these are um, eight ounce bottles. These are eight ounce bottles. And then I got, and these were 75% off. And I just recently bought, I didn't buy it. I got it for free because I used my coupon. Um, the iced lemon pound cake spray and body wash. I'm giving this to the uh, bride-to-be heaven. It's lemon and vanilla and oh my gosh. So these were like 375. I think this one, Maybe this one was $4.75 and this was $3.75. And that is a major deal. So this one was $14, regularly $14.95 and this one $16.95. So go check out that SAS sale and put this stuff away and um, put it away for the holidays. I was trying to tell my mother about it today, but I don't know if she fully, I don't know if she fully grasped what I was, what I was saying to her. So guys, thank you. Thank you for watching. I know I kind of like rushed this, but I wanted to. I had this, I had the time, so I figured I would just go ahead and do this for you. So again, uh, my name is Denise. This is Denise's Halls. I go to the Dollar Tree. I go to Walmart. I go to Aldi. Um, I go to the grocery outlet. I go to Bath and Body Works. I'm just kidding. I don't go to Bath and Body Works that often, but I just wanted to show you and let you know you're missing out on SAS if you you know, you want to stock up on some gifts for, for the holidays or just for birthdays or whatever. Um, I love finding these bargains and I love telling everybody about them. So um, I would love, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. If you have not already, please, please do. And all my subscribers, I want to thank each and every one of you who have stuck by me and are patient with me and kind of just let me do my own thing. I don't feel, I was just saying the other day, I don't feel pressure. Uh, but when I have time to do it, even though I have other things to do, this is something I like to do for myself. So um, again, this is for me. And um, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it. 
And again, if you haven't spoken with anybody today or, or you're home alone and you don't really talk to anybody, I hope you can listen to me and um, I don't know, I hope I sound like a friend to you. I hope I sound like somebody, you know, that you could sit and have a cup of coffee and just hang out with for, for 20, 20 to 30 minutes, um, you know, a couple times a week. So uh, I hope I hope I've helped somebody this evening with that if if you're in that situation. And again, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Like, share, subscribe, and have a great evening. Bye.